Hey yo, what is good YouTube, it's your boy Meso and I'm back with another haircut transformation. In this video, we are going from like a nudrid, nappy curl, over curly type haircut, temp fade to a regular, low even, military cut. Really, it's like the fade the baby used to have when he first, before he started growing out his hair. Um, so right now I'm just trying to lift the hair up Really not trying to pick it Because I'm just going to go through it with a guard And that's just a lot of extra work So you know water is the best lubricant for hair um, So I just went in there with some water And like try to lift the hair up Really from the roots And now I'm just coming in with like a number 2 guard With my Babyliss FX And I'm really really surprised That they are cutting the hair down As smooth as they, as they are so as you know when you're cutting hair now you want to make sure that you're being very careful uh, i've been cutting this client for a little bit so i kind of did know where his hair would grow at so when you when you're cutting hair if you if you could don't start right in the middle kind of leave that area so you don't leave like a gap where the hair you know naturally will start taking taking shape and like you know where the crown is so uh just come down with a number two and I'm just going down and I'm just cutting all the hair off. And the hair is like falling off, bro. Like, I don't know if it's his hair texture or these babyless effects, but it got that job done quick. That was like five minutes just cutting down the hair. That was easy. And I was taking my time, you know, just because of the video. So right now, we're just making sure that the hair is even. I don't really know why I just kept going over it. I just wanted to make sure I had a clean canvas. Um, so right now, I'm just going to come in with my babyless fx these are the hawk edition so they're all red and um hawk the barber and shout out to him and i'm just coming in i'm just setting my first guideline i was kind of unsure where his occipital bone was so i kind of made the fade a little low but i go back in and i fix that as you can see i'm kind of dropping the fade in the back but you know what i'm saying i kind of keep it even throughout the whole head so i'm going to pull up that guideline i only had it like that because i didn't know where his occipital bone was so make sure you figure that out and then you'll be able to know where your fade is going to go. So a key to make sure that you're keeping your fade even on both sides is just really, I like to start on one side, work my way to the back, and then go to the other side and meet that same line in the back to make sure that's even. So uh, like I said, I'm going to bring the line up higher because if I put a fade on them like that, it just would not look right. So um, right now I'm just coming in with my Austers, uh, Octanes, and I believe that's a 5.0 blade. And I'm just going in and I'm just setting that guy line, just trying to make it even on both sides. And honestly, if you make the back of the head even, then you'll be good. Like if you make the, the guy lines on the back of the head kind of symmetrical, so with a point they're going to the same angle, like leading out, then you're good. And so right now I'm coming in with my one and a half and I believe it's fully open. And I'm just going with the grain. A number two was kind of too high, so I wanted to have a kind of lay the hair down, just kind of give him a foundation to work with. I know he wasn't going for a waiver look, he just wanted it low. So one and a half, you know what I'm saying, just he'll be able to comb it, brush it. It really depends on what he want to do. So I'm just going with the grain, just making sure everything is straight. And normally when I do a fade, if I have a one and a half, say like if I'm cutting like a one and a half open, on the sides, I will close my lever where I'm going to fade at and just cut that down to a one and a half. And that allows me to like to skip a lot of steps having a fade into like a one and a half open, which is a weird, like a weird guard to fade into. So it kind of makes it a little easier for me. And so right now I'm just cleaning up my lines, just going in with my Anderson TL line and just making sure my line is very clean. I like to make sure everything's clean before I start like moving on. And I recorded this haircut I lied to you not some months ago so this is real old so you know what i'm saying hopefully i don't know man i just haven't recorded a tutorial in a minute and i just wanted i think this is a good one to come back on so uh i hope everybody's been good man y'all showing endless love to my channel we done hit like 2,000 subscribers man and it's absolutely crazy i appreciate it like a hundred percent so right now i'm coming with my Auster octanes with my number one blade and this is the one that they give you when you get the clippers so uh yeah i'm just going in with them and just going up and flicking out setting in that guy line setting in that guy line and i'm making it an inch because it's, it's going to be an all-around fade so i can stretch that line out really as high as i want to as long as it's faded and so right now i believe i have one of my one and three fourths blade and i'm just going down with the grain 
the one and three fourths is the same thing as the one and a half closed the like the wall clips the one and a half it's the same thing as that close it's probably a little bit shorter because it's you know it's more true to size but uh after i did that i'm just going to go up and go against the grain going with the one and three fourths just trying to see where it's going to take me to and right now as i can see it's like kind of kind of blending into it yep so as you see i had that one and a half on there and i'm just going against the grain i believe that's a one and a half it looks like no nah, i think that's a two my bad y'all i think that's a one and a half that's a one and a half and i'm going against the grain and i'm just going up and i'm flicking out i'm using my wall magic clip and let me tell you, these clippers are workhorse when it comes to fading. I highly recommend them. I highly recommend them. I think I did the whole fade with the clippers. And they're so light. It's like, you you know what I'm saying, like you're moving nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's real light. And so one, one technique that I learned over the time is to smooth out your fading area. If you're going against the grain on a haircut... You want to make sure that you're smoothing it out because when your client goes home, he's going to be brushing his hair down. He's not going to be brushing against the grain. So you want to make sure that you smooth it out so like the haircut can look smooth and have a nice finish on it. So right now I'm coming in with my number one guard fully open and I'm going right underneath that one and a half. And uh, I'm going to work my way down to my lever closed. And these are just the steps I follow. These steps, like if you follow these steps, I'm sure you, you're going to get a fade. It's going to be detailed, everything, because you're not missing a step. If you're starting from one and a half and you work your way down to a one, to one sixteen, to lever open, you literally didn't miss one step in between it, so your fade is going to be good. And personally, when I fade, I like to fade with a comb because you never know. Sometimes you may have to do clip over comb and stuff like that. And honestly, it's the most sanitary option when it comes to barbering because these tools can be uh, disinfected. You know what I'm saying? If you sit them in the barber side and stuff like that, they can be disaffected. So a brush, it's too, it's too. Uh, I forgot the word, but it's prosperous. I think, like it's, it has the pores in it, so it, it it absorbs a lot of bacteria. So it's gonna be hard for you to clean out that bacteria. So right now I'm just coming in with my lever closed, attacking that line that I set in with my lever open. I'm just going to work, man. When you in that zone, look, when you in that zone, it's serious. And I also want to recommend that everybody that cuts hair, if you're if you're cutting with big guards, use a big comb that has a lot of space in between it. Where the teeth is wide. Like the wall comb that you can just buy, like that comes in comes with the clippers, the wall comb. That's like a perfect comb when you're using like a number two, number three, or one and a half. But when you get down to those fine combs where it's cut where well, those fine guards where it's cutting the hair real low, you wanna switch your combs up. So I have two different combs that I fade with. This one is a carbon comb. Carbon combs are some of the best combs to use. Uh they pull the hair great and it's it's just like for me it's perfect for fade and perfect for clip over comb everything it kind of it, it's just a real good comb i've been using it for like two years now so i highly recommend it i'll put the link in the description where you can find them at and uh they real cheap man you get like a pack of 10 for about i don't know probably like 10 dollars or 15 it's not bad at all it's the same combs as like the one that chris bazio uh talks about like the ys y2 combs stuff like that it's the same material these are just not branded or anything like that so as you can see i'm coming with my clip over comb and instead of going back to my big guards when you had that clip over comb you can just attack the line with the clip over comb and so right now i'm just coming with my 1 16th open and close just really trying to see that fade this is where you're going to really see the fade at My bad, the camera keep going in and out of focus. I just need to set it to uh, manual focus, but you know what I'm saying. That's it happens sometimes. It really does. And uh, in the back of the head, when you're fading out, that's the area that you want to stretch out the most. The back of the head. Make sure that you stretch it out. 
So right now I'm coming in with my lever fully open using my magic clips and I'm just attacking that bottom line. I start with my lever open and then I work my way all the way down to the close, like to, you know what I'm saying, to ball it out and check out that first guideline that I put in with my trimmers. And so as you can see, I'm just working it, like really working it. And let me advise y'all, if y'all use one clipper for the whole fade that one time and this cool care will be your fr best friend because them don't like i'm telling you those clippers will get hot so you're gonna need to spray them and, and get them right and let them cool down for a little bit and then you'll be good but i did this fade in about like 20 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes so you know how that is sometimes you know it take a little longer so as you can see i switched over to my babyless F fx uh gold and um, I ain't gonna lie, I recorded this months ago. These clippers are now out of my lineup. They're sitting on the bench. They're waiting to get called, and they probably won't. I probably had to drop them. But, you know what I'm saying? For what they did, for the time I used them, they were good. But over time, you could just see them start going down. Like, I don't know if anybody else notices that. But, for honestly, for 160. Uh, they're not worth it. I'd rather buy two pairs of magic clips and I'll be at the same. But uh right now I'm coming in with my lever fully open. I'm really going to work on this fade now. Like I'm just trying to make sure everything is faded. As you can see, I'm looking in my mirror. If you have a, if you're cutting with a mirror, use the mirror. I'm serious. If you're cutting with a mirror, use the mirror. If you're not cutting with a mirror, just try your best and take a step back. Get out of that zone that you went, take a step back and come back. And that's going that's gonna help you out a whole lot. It's still some dark spots in this fade. Um, you know what I'm saying? Once we put a line on it, I'm going to come back in detail and it's going to be good. And I know y'all saying how many times you're going to go over the head with a, you know, with the same guard and stuff like that. You just want to make sure that everything is even, smooth, and it's as clean as it can get. You know what I'm saying? Because the worst thing that, that can happen is somebody go home and the top of the head is not even. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, man, like I said, I really appreciate y'all for 2,000 subscribers, man. Like, bro, I really appreciate that. So I came in with the number one guard fully open, and I just came down to lay down the hair, lay down the hair in the front, and I'm just coming in with my Andis TL liners, and I'm attacking that front line. Making sure that I'm looking in my mirror, knowing where I'm going to shape up, and I'm just attacking it. I'm just attacking the line, making sure the shape up is good. And it's a lot of people that hate on the Andis TR liners, but let me tell you, they cut the hair best. It's no other trimmer out there that cuts hair like the Andis TR liner. Like I'm for real. Like cutting hair. I'm not talking about creating an ash line. I'm talking about cutting hair. They cut hair the best. They're, they're power horses. If you don't have one in your lineup, I recommend you get one. And 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 they're great, man. I use them on kids. Um I don't really zero gap these all the way, but the, as you can see, they're cutting. They're cutting. It's, it's all about how you prepare the hair that's going to show in that lineup. You know what I'm saying? So when I do my lineups, I like to start in the middle, work my way to whatever side I'm standing on. I'm normally standing on the client's left-hand side, which is my right, and I normally work my way to the right, and then I come back and work my way to the left. And I'm just making sure everything is straight. Um, I just now started standing in front of my clients and shaping them up. Make sure you got enough space in between your chair and your client before you, <laughs> before you do something like that because you don't want to be all up in your client space. So make sure you got enough space for that. And, you know, when you dead on and dead center, that's going to be your best bet to get a straight line up. So as you can see, the lineup is, is almost there. Um, I'm just gonna put some enhancements on it, some slight, and just uh, yeah, just go to work. I'm, I'm not gonna be too heavy with the enhancements. I really don't like being too heavy with them, but I'm just, you know, this client likes enhancements, so I'm just going in with the enhancements, making sure it's super sharp, and we just gonna come in with the wall detailer and uh, just attack that line. See, we all have like specific clippers and trimmers that we use for certain, like 
for certain like parts of the haircut. So if I'm working with fibers or something like that, I like to come in with a with a blade that's really thin and it's cutting really sharp. So like the wall detailer will be used for that. Uh, the Babyliss FX they'll be used for that. I don't even think I use the Babyliss FX in this in this haircut at all because I really didn't need them. But um, it's certain trimmers that you have that can cut through fibers and enhancements like that. It just give you that sharp line. And as you can see, the wall detailers are punching. I mean, punching. I'm not really into the ash line nowadays, but you know, some sometimes it's cool if it does happen. But if it doesn't, I'm not pressing it. Um, I like the haircut to be it's wearable you know what i'm saying i want him to be able to go out and stuff he said he had an event to go to that's why he cut his hair down and stuff like that so you know how that is and i'm just going over and i'm just making sure i'm getting on them straight hairs i'm detailing as i'm shaping up and the fade is clean the shape up is sharp and i put them in the game <laughs> hey look this is the haircut man if y'all enjoyed it Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.